the reality is COVID-19 still exists in Texas. Governor Abbott reminding Texans about the seriousness of coronavirus as hospitalizations continue to trend upward. Today, I'm signing an executive order encouraging police departments nationwide to adopt the highest professional standards to serve their communities. What the president included in his police reform order. And a final farewell to a legendary Houston educator. Fox 26 News at 9 starts now. And we appreciate you being with us tonight. I'm Caitlin Monty. Hi there, Caitlin, and hi, everyone. I'm Jonathan Martin, and we begin tonight at 9 o'clock with concerns about the number of hospitalizations here in Texas due to COVID-19. Only about 10 percent or even less of Texans who test positive for COVID-19 ever even need to go to the hospital in the first place. And when they do, there is a hospital bed there available for them. So that's Governor Greg Abbott assuring Texans that there is enough hospital capacity for those who have COVID-19, the patients there in the hospital. This comes as cases in the state hit a new high at more than 2,600. There are currently nearly 15,000 hospital beds available out of the state's 54,000. Well, Governor Greg Abbott is saying that many of these new cases that we are seeing are, of course, coming from people who are being more social, going out and about. Our, our reporter tonight, Fox 26's Natasha Geigel, is looking into that. She's in Rice Military with the story. Natasha. Well, that's right, Jonathan. We're located right now on Washington Avenue. It's an area that is filled with restaurants and bars. And while we're seeing a lot more activity than we have in the past couple of months, it's nowhere as busy as it was before the pandemic. However, because there is an increase of COVID-19 cases, officials are looking to crack down on places like these where people socialize. The reality is COVID-19 still exists in Texas. It exists.